Hi children, welcome back to Year 5 English Classroom. Okay, today we're gonna look at fun with idioms. Let's go proceed. Okay, what are we learning today? How to use idioms in our daily lives. Okay, idioms of the day. So these are the few idioms that we're gonna learn today. First, raining cats and dogs, a piece of cake, all ears, on cloud nine, feeling blue, give me a hand, broken hearted, turns a deaf ear, and also arm to the teeth. Let's look at each of them individually. Okay, the first one. It's raining cats and dogs. What does it mean? It means to rain a lot and very heavily. So how do we use it in a sentence? We can't play outside as it's raining cats and dogs. Remember, yeah, it needs to be cats and dogs, not cat and dog. Okay, take note. Next one. A piece of cake. What does it mean? Something that is very easy. Let's look at it in a sentence. I finish my work in five minutes as is just a piece of cake. Next one. On cloud nine. What does on cloud nine mean? To be extremely happy or overjoyed. Let's look at the sentence. We were on club night when our school football team scored the winning goal. Next one. Feeling blue. What does it mean? Feeling sad. Sarah was feeling blue as she did not do well in her test. Next, give me a hand. What does it mean? To help someone. Let's look at the sentence. Can you give me a hand with these books, please? Broken hearted. What does it mean? A feeling of great sadness especially if you lost somebody that you love okay let's look at the sentence Anna was broken-hearted when her cat died all ears eager to listen it means eager to listen sentence the children were all ears when their teacher told them the story. Next, turns a deaf ear. What does it mean? Refuse to listen or responds to a request. In a sentence, the little boy turns a deaf ear when his mother starts to complain about his laziness. Now, do you turn on a deaf ear as well when your mother asks you to do something or advise you to do something? Better not, yeah? All right, let's move on to the next idiom. Arm to the T. Now, what does it mean? Heavily armed with deadly weapons, meaning here with knives, rifles or guns. Okay, let's look in a sentence. How to use it in a sentence. The bank robbers were armed to teeth when they were arrested by the police. Alright, now all these idioms, I would want you to write it in your English notebook. Okay, you need to write down the idiom, the meaning of the idiom and also the sentence. Now you see the words here in red, I want you to underline it. 
Okay, so first you will write down the idiom, the meaning, and also the sentence. How to use it in a sentence. And remember to underline the idiom in the sentence. Okay? Okay, so this is what you will have to do for today. Fill in the blank with the correct idiom. Now we have learned all the idiom just now. Okay, you will have to fill in the idiom in the correct space given. Okay? All right. Then I want you to type it up in your Google document and also turn it in in your Google Classroom. I will assign a, a, a task later. Okay, so remember to turn it in by using attachment with Google document. Okay, now let's look at number one. Jack was what? When he was announced as the winner of the competition. Two, I could do the task given with ease as it was just what? This box is too heavy for me. Please. Okay. Arun was when his grandmother passed away. Samuel was when his teacher was teaching. Jane was because she could still not sing well. I was drenched and could and cold because it was and I forgot to bring my umbrella out. Now what is drenched? Drenched means you are soaking wet. Soaking wet. Okay. And the last one, the lazy boy always, what? When his teacher tries to advise him to be more hard working. Okay, so these are the eight questions that you will have to fill in the blanks. Alright, so that's all for today. See you next lesson. Bye.